box. It's so big. Indeed it is. Welcome to the Atlantic Show. Today we are doing something different than a Japan crate. It's a universal yum crate. Yes it is guys, yes it is. So, we have done over a year's worth of Japan crates. We love the Japan crates, but we kind of like, hey, we like trying different snacks from around the world. So we looked into this universal yums, got a super yum box. And these yums travel all the way from everywhere. So this is the December crate guys. And we're just gonna crack this baby open. I have no idea what's in this. So I don't know if it's like a Japan crate in that it has uh, drinks and whatnot. I have no idea guys. All I know is this is a lot of whatever's in this is. <laughs> This is quite a bit of, it's a pretty big box, guys. It's a pretty big box, guys. So, all right, you ready to crack this thing open? And we, yeah, we might have to go get drinks, but you ready to crack it open? All right, let's bust it open and see what's in there. Let's, like, let's, uh, let's see. It's really hard to open. There we go, let's just do it like that. Okay, all right, oh, okay. Let's see what's in here. First of all, we have a map. So I'm assuming this is, so it's a map of facts. We have, I'm assuming these are the countries, so, Something from Russia, something from China, something from Taiwan, Poland, Morocco, South Africa, Peru, USA, and Canada. And there's games on the back. Games? I want to see that. You can cast a vote for your favorite and least favorite yums on the back. And hold on a second here. And, um, okay, just different games, different games. Whoa, this is wild, dude. There's meat, jelly, and horseradish crackers. Are you serious? Okay, guys, so here's the booklet. Of course, as you know, we will look through the booklet at the end of the festivities, guys. If you have not checked out our playlist for um, the Japan Cray guys, we have over a year's worth in there, guys. So there's a lot of those. You can check out and see how we usually do these. So, so we have, this is uh, Poland. So this is the gingerbread with mint icing. These look like cookies. What is this? Okay, this is uh, Pandoro. This is from Peru. This is a Pandoro with chocolate cream. I'm gonna need to get a plate and a knife for this one. What is this? <laughs> look at all this stuff, guys. Raspberry from Buesa. It is potato chips that are apparently raspberry and salt from what I'm getting out of this. What is this? This one is, uh, I'm going to say this might be the Russian snack. It looks like Horse potato meat. chips. Is it or something? <laughs> Who knows? Let's take a look here, guys. This is, uh, no, this is cookies. Cookies. So this is cookies. Um, let's see if this has a country on it. This is a Bags worth of candy. Uh, I don't know what country J O is. However, um, so we'll. This is a. I know what this is. Check it's that a out. Bags worth of candy. Okay, a bag of. Oh yeah, looks like a bunch of hard candies. This crunchy I want to say is probably the Jap. The. Even the China. more crunchy candies. Okay, guys. Yeah, we've got whatever these are. Some sort of chocolate. Whatever. Okay, hold on. Let's see here. You're getting a little ahead of me, buddy. Okay. Oh, marzipan. Okay. What is this? Uh, this one. Baklava. Whoa, guys. We're definitely going to have to get plates and a knife. What is this? For a lot of this. Okay, that can... Cheese palmiers. These are cookies. Oh, baby. What is this? <laughs> oh, my golly gosh. Can... Guys, this is... uh. Sweet egg yolk flavored popcorn. <laughs> what? This is from Taiwan. What is okay, this? guys, what we're is losing it? our Leo. Oh, wait, what is this? Is this some sort of like chocolate inside of it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, let's take a look. I have no idea what's in this. Whoa! Golden balls! Yep, Mars Pan balls. Okay. What is the. Uh, these look like some sort of caramel thing. Uh. 
This is mince pie flavored fudge bars. What is this? Uh, what is this? Wow, this is pretty crazy. Uh, this is a mystery. I don't know what that is. More of those, okay? So sorry, that's roasted sunflower seeds. Wow, guys, these guys are really in it all the way here. Okay, roasted sunflower seeds. Chocolate! Let's take a look. Oh, whoa, look, guys, look at this gigantic candy bar. I cinnamon did. and, this is cinnamon chocolate. Oh, I think these are onion chips. Uh, this is, uh, well, we have wine, we have garlic, guys. I have no idea what this is. Uh, this is either Polish or Russian also. And look guys, this is how much stuff we have to check out guys. So uh, I'm going to get, there's no drinks in this guys, so we're gonna get some drinks. And guys, I'm gonna get a plate and a knife so we can actually sort of portion this out a little bit guys. We'll be right back. So there we are guys, Ooh. behind the tower stuff is Leo and he's rocking a red drink. I've got some nice meal lemonade. First Here's our plates. Hurt. And what are we going with first? First things first. That's where the candy is! All right, guys, we're gonna go with this candy, and I don't see a country on it. The writing looks to me like it's Chinese. So it could be China, it could be Taiwan. Okay, guys, so we got these red ones. Here, let's take a red one. So we're gonna try the red ones first. We got different flavors here, we're just gonna try them all. And this is, what is this? Uh, there's like, it, seeds. Is there's like seeds inside of this. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. It's like halva, guys. Oh, yeah, you remember halva? Mm-mm. It's like a sesame seed type candy. All right. We got these hard candies. Whoa! Okay guys, we got these hard candies. And we've got these egg things. Or wafer things or whatever they are. So which one do you want to go with next? One of those? Okay. Alright. Okay guys, it looks like an almond. It's a waffer. So what's inside? Some sort of cream. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I like these too. Whatever they are. Man. Do you like the first one? Okay. No, I, no, I didn't like this one. You don't like that one? Okay. So I've liked both things so far. Leo's only really liked one of them. Mm -hmm. We're gonna call this a like if you like two out of the three things. And of course our hard candy. Oh wow. These are really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So I liked all three of those from China. Or Taiwan, whatever it was. We'll have to look at the end. No, it actually does not. Oh, look now. So we had those things were <laughs> somewhere in here, maybe. Oh. Okay, it's a grab bag. So the pink champagne is what that was, Leo. That was from the UK. What is UK? The Lucky New Year's candy was from China. That was the one you didn't like. UK is like England, United Kingdom, Britain, countries over there. Guys, I'm not 100% sure everything that's in the UK, so sorry if I'm getting some of that wrong. And then the almond thing was from Spain. So, I liked all three. You liked just two of them. Okay. Very cool. 
All right, my pick, guys, and I got to see what raspberry potato chips taste like. So here we're going from Spain. Now, Leo loves potato chips, guys. Leave us a comment and let us know what your favorite snack is. Uh, mine is probably Cheetos. Leo, what's yours? Ruffles. Ruffles, okay. So here's they are in the bag, guys. You can see they have this... I have a feeling I'm going to like them. Golden look to them here. Try them out. Mmm. They're very, um... Mm. Very unusual. Raspberry and salt. Mostly salt, but... You want some more? Mmm. What do you think? That was a win? Win! Yeah, me too. So guys, if you are new to the way that we go through these, basically what we do is we open up all the bags, we try everything, and we tally who likes more things. Somebody, no names, but you can see them right now, feels like this is a competition, guys. I just use it to keep track of who likes what. So the, the snack old raspberry potato chips from Spain are a win for me and for Leo. Bo, show. Guys, these are, um, honestly, they're kind of unusually addicting. <laughs> they're really good. All right, buddy. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. He's, gonna, he's trying to decide, guys. If he's daring you enough to go, your coffee. it's the cinnamon chocolate bar, guys. Doesn't look like we're brave enough for that yet. Okay, what do we got? Oh, okay. Mince pie flavored fudge bars. What did you say? Mince pie flavored fudge. Once again, from the UK, guys. And this, uh, I don't, I don't might know what to even say about this. So here's the fudge. One for you, and one for me. And uh, there's obviously raisins in here. Well, let's try it. Hmm. Good. So, um, a lot of spice in it. Very interesting, guys. Spice? Well, you know, like cloves and cinnamon and stuff. It's uh, kind of bready. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, not bad. I like those raspberry trips. Those are outstanding. Mm -hmm. So Leah went with that. That was interesting. So I don't know what these things are. We have a few of them. So we have one to Leo. Put the other two off to the side. I'll see if I can find them. Oh, here they are. These are from South Korea, guys. They are called Prickly Pear Yugua Candy. Okay. And let's see if we can open it up. So it's like a, some sort of foam. Oh. I, that's a no for me. I don't know for you too. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a hard note for me. They're not bad. It's what, candy. Which one that wouldn't want to eat them? Okay, we got this. Is let's find it here. From probably the UK. This is uh, San Andreas from Spain. We have San Andreas crunchy chocolate duron. And I think it's just, this is like a crisp bar, I think. Uh, rice, mm. yeah. It's like Nestle's Crunch. I like it. Mm hmm. This is a creamier chocolate, though. You notice that? Really quite good. Guys, we're finally starting to make a little dent in this. And I want to go with this Hamantak. 
So I don't know what this is. Mm. Okay, guys. This is from... Oh, it's from America. It's from the United States. It's from our state. It's from... Yeah, yeah, it's from our country, guys. From America. This Amitash. And I'm just going to cut a couple... So here's a hamatage, guys. Oh, that's jelly, I think. Is it? Let's try it. Is that jelly? No, no, try it. I think that is jelly. Smells like jelly. What? Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is basically a jelly-filled cookie. Yum, yum, yum! I love it. Yep, I like this too. So this is a Jewish food for Purim. And I'm digging this crepe. I'll be honest with you guys, I am digging this crepe. So, yeah, quite good. All right, what are you thinking next, buddy? Mm. Oh, marzipan balls. What are marzipan? All right, guys, let me see if I can figure out. What's marzipan? Um, we're going to find out. This looks German. Let's see if it's German. Guys, yeah, let's see if I'm right. Germany! Marzipan's pretty big over in Germany. Alright. Have one of your marzipan balls. What? Mmm! Mmm. Guys, I am not a huge marzipan fan, and um, mm. that is not changing. Mm. Do you like them? It's a yes for you. So Leo has tied it up 7-7. Seven seven. And, um, mm. yeah, nope, I did not like those at all. All right, let's, um, I'm going to go with these cheese palmiers. Now this should be France, but it's not. This is a product of Holland, so Netherlands. All right, get that on there. Here we got. Whoa. Okay. Let me see. It. Let me see. It. I want to see. It, it says cheese. Did say that. Yep. Yep. You guys? Hmm. Oh, it is cheese. Hmm. Mm. Oh, these are good. Mmm. I agree. Guys, we're we made a pretty big dent. I wanna say, what do you think? We're halfway through, pretty close to halfway through. I'm surprised there's not a drink in this, actually. I eat chips. Okay. Let's see, we have Oh my, my gully gosh, because I can't read any of this. So this is uh, either Czech or Russian, I'm assuming. And this is, oh, from the Czech Republic. This is, um, okay, from the Czech Republic. We have these. It looks like, what do you think this looks like, that bowl? Mustard. Mmm, you may be right. Let's try it out. The chips, guys, they don't seem unusual. You will not like these. Are they spicy? They're they're horseradish mustard. My, my. These are horseradish mustard, guys. Leo does not like spicy things. You can try one if you want. Yeah. Wait, you're just smelling. They're very, very... Um, these have a good punch to them, guys. I don't like them. Either. They're definitely spicier than Leo would would want. I like spices like guys. If you just, so if you're just coming to us, and not familiar with our channel, Leo does not like spicy things at all. So I'm gonna take the bullet for him on that one. Okay, so that was a bust, guys. The mustard chips from Czechoslovakia were no good. All right, and here we have. Sweet egg yolk popcorn from Taiwan. 
What do you think about this? Sweet eggs. <laughs> Sweet eggs. Oh, whoa, guys. Look how yellow it is. Nothing. Try it. Nothing. This is actually really good, guys. This might be back my favorite thing in the crate so far. <laughs> mm. Awesome. Feel good. Okay. What do you think, buddy? What looks good to you? Or what what do you look like you want to adventure with next? Okay. These are also from Czechoslovakia. Oh, I cut the bird's head off, guys. Look at that. Bird, bird. All right. There they are. Oh! You want me to try one first? I'll try one first, guys. Mmm. So these are um, they're like a garlic. The garlic. These taste kind of like that. Have I tried garlic chips before? Yeah, like that cheese bread. I love that cheese bread. Try one. See if you like it. I personally don't like these, but do what you think? It's very, oh! <laughs> very strong girl. Oh! <laughs> it's not hot or anything, it's just really strong garlic. Okay guys, we're dwindling down. <laughs> Finally, getting down to our last few here. And this thing here. Oh, that's marzipan. We'll save that for later. Guys, I saw these. These Chinese pecan flavored roasted sunflower seeds. And I want to say this is from China. Let's just double check though. It is in fact from China, guys. So, let's crack these open. and see how these go. Whoa, look at these things. Oh, these are sunflower seeds. Okay. So we gotta crack them and eat the inside. All right. And here we go, guys. Placement. Tiny seed. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Ah. 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 Vol. Ah. Dude. Oh, so bad. Oh. Those are no for me. Hard no for me, guys. And a really hard no for me. Okay, buddy, that was a bust. All right, what's next? We definitely liked a lot less of this crate than some of the other ones. Gingerbread with mint flavor from Poland. What's Poland? Poland is another country, guys. It's, uh, guys. You probably know where it is. It's over in the area of Russia. And here we go, guys. This sort of... Mmm. 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 These are really good. Yeah. Not for me, they're not. Mm. Alright, guys. I had taken a 98 lead. We are now tied up. 9 to 9. Okay, we have five things left, guys. There's no do-it-yourself in this. It is just a straightforward crate. Did not enjoy that at all. Okay. I'm going with Pandoro with chocolate cream. This one, I believe, is... This is Italian, guys. Okay. Pandoro out of here. All right. Here's what we have, and we're going to split this with me and Leo. Which one do you want? Okay. Pandora with chocolate cream. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. Mm. Yep. Awesome. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. 
Oh, that's a big fat yes for me. Mm -hmm. You like it? <laughs> I can open this. Okay. All right, the guys. Leo has opened the marzipan, chocolate marzipan. Break me off a piece. Whoa! All right, yeah. the marzipan. This is so good. Again, guys, I'm not a fan of marzipan, so it's a big maybe for me. Yum. Actually, it works better with chocolate, so I'll be yes on that one, too. All right, guys, we're down to our last three. We have cookies from Jordan. Baklava. I think that's also from Jordan. Is baklava also from Jordan? It is. And we have this cinnamon chocolate from Peru. It's meant for drinking. We're obviously not doing that. Okay, we're just gonna eat it. All right, so um, I'm gonna pick these. These, I think, are sesame cookies. Oh, I hate those. Let's see what we have. Oh, guys, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> look at all the sesame seeds. You want one? You want one? Leo, guys, uh, in case you're new to the channel, does not like sesame seeds either. Mmm. These are good. <laughs> Alright, the chocolate bar that supposedly is for drinking, we're not going to do that. What does it taste that? That is part of the thrill of just trying new things, buddy. Thing. Okay. Hmm. Whoa. Oh. Hmm. You know what, guys? I did not expect to like that, but I do. It's quite like good. It. Oh, I like it. It's got a cool graininess to it. I actually kind of like that. What do you think? Is it yes for you or no? I guess. Okay. All right, guys. We're down to the very last one. From it Germany. is mixed baklava from Germany. Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> so guys, you can see what the different baklava is. Baklava is something, Leo, that's made with what's called filo dough. Usually a lot of honey and nuts. So this will probably be pretty nut heavy, if I had to guess. If I can figure out how to get it open, guys. These packaging is smarter than I am. Okay, here. Oh, come here, you. There we go. All right. I'm excited about this, guys. Saving the best for last. Mixed baklava. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. All right. Do we have an actual mix or just have pieces? Oh. So we have a bird's nest baklava in the middle. We have these regular pieces on the side. So let's... What yeah. is the bird's nest? It's this thing in the middle. What's the pumpkin thing? This is just a different type of filo dough. Um, okay, here you go. No, 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 no. Here you go. It's pistachios, mostly. Give it a try. How many other nuts are there? Uh, mostly just pistachios. Thanks. Guys, I will tell you this. This is actual baklava. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this bird's nest. Okay, guys. Leah wants to split the bird nest with me. 
And I won't do that. Sorry, birds. There you go. There it is. Toast it up. Wait, what? Toast. There you go. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Good. You want to try the other one? Mmm. Are you giving up? Okay, guys. There it is. Usually we have only enough left in the Japan craze to fill a small tin. This time I had to actually go back to the box. So guys, the final score was 14 for me, 12 for Leo. All right. Now guys, this is the part of our show where we go through the book. And introduce all of us. And of course, it talks a little bit about the season, um, which is normal. All these crates seem to do this. Pause here if you want to read it. And of course, they talk about Christmas, Hanukkah, Ramadan. Please, Mary. That would be Christmas, yes. And they have little quizzes in here. Okay, guys. So here it is. We have the Marzipan Brat, which was the Marzipan Bar with dark chocolate from Germany. That was, oh boy, a yes for both of us. And I can't quite fit all this in this. Hopefully you guys can read that. That was a yes for us. We have, from Poland, gingerbread with the mint frosting, guys. That was a no for me. Leo liked that one. We have mustard potato chips. Oh. Uh, we didn't actually try those, but those were a pretty hard pass for me. I'm not a big fan of I'm not a big fan of horseradish, and that there was a lot of a horseradish sensation in there. Could have just been the mustard seed they used. I don't know, but it was pretty intense. Okay, guys, and I like mustard. Hopefully, you guys can pick this up. This is the prickly pear yugua candy. From Korea. Oh, we didn't like that either. The <laughs> Chocolate Crunchy Candy Turan. Remember that one, Leo? Mm. The, the crunch, the crispies? That was really good. We have the Sweet o sweet Egg Yolk Sweet Egg Yolk Popcorn. Uh, like I was saying, guys, this is probably my favorite thing. Uh, I love this. This was an outstanding thing to try, guys. Leo actually missed out not trying that. It was really good, though. Uh, the Pandoro Chocolate Cream from Italy. Awesome. Definitely excellent, guys. We have the Jabri Mixed Baklava. And, of course, Baklava. I don't think Leo liked a whole lot. I like Baklava. Just comment let us know if you like these things too, guys. The Del Cusco chocolate. Um, so it is cinnamon, 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 and cloves, and so on. You're supposed to make hot chocolate with an actual chocolate bar. We are lazy. We just ate it. But it's good to just eat just the way it is too, I think. What do you think? You? All right. The Jumbo Raspberry Hamatash. Hammertosh. Hammertosh. It's one the same Maggie. It's like it's like Hammertosh. it's like hammer toss. Okay, uh, and this was uh, that was really good. I like that too. We have the mincemeat fudge. Oh boy, look at this, guys. There's a history lesson where they're talking about the fudge. Uh, hopefully, you, oh boy, this is a lot of stuff here. Hopefully, you guys can get a load of all that there. This is a cool book, though, but there's a lot of reading in it. Holy moly. Cha-Cha Chinese Pecan Sunflower Seeds. Uh, probably my least favorite thing in this crate. I'm not a big sunflower seed nut. And I did, did not like the flavor of these at all. Neither did Leo. Okay, we have the Cheese Palmiers. Outstanding. Those are very, very, very good too. Yum. Fr Friends Yum. of Wine. That's what, I guess that's why they had the wine thing on there. Okay. Oh my God. 
There's so many things in here. We're almost at the end, guys. Thanks for staying with us. Okay, we have more chips. This time, very heavy garlic potato chips from Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. We have Jabri Barazek, which apparently is toasted sesame seed. Sorry, which is apparently toasted sesame seed cookies. I like these. I thought they were good. Leo didn't want to try them. Uh, we also have the raspberry potato chips, which I'm assuming is probably, is that your favorite thing, buddy? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite thing out of this whole crate? That thing? Okay. They're weirdly addictive, guys. Marzipan potatoes, which are marzipan balls that look like potatoes. I didn't like those. Uh, almond delights, guys. This was the soft, soft almond wafers that we had in the beginning. Uh, these are really, really good. I like these. Okay. <clears throat> we have the pink champagne candy, guys. Oh, man. I hope this is coming through so you can read it. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid it isn't, but pause here if you want to read it, guys. That stuff was outstanding as well. Lucky New Year's candy. Guys. Guys, 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 guys. I love this candy. Loved it. All right, guys. And uh, so Polaris, they watch roosters for their tradition. In Switzerland, they drop ice cream. What? In Ecuador, they burn scarecrows. In Romania, they talk to animals. In South Africa, they toss furniture. That's how they celebrate their New Year's, apparently. Uh, here's a recipe for potato latkes. We said a fireworks. Yes. Guys, leave, leave us a comment. Let us know what you do to celebrate your New Year's holidays, guys. We'd love to hear from you. We have chocolate nesson. Chocolate, I don't know. Choco. Chocoladnessen. Chocolat. Yeah, Chocoladnessen. Holy moly. Chocolade Nessen. That's uh, apparently a uh, chocolate eating contest. And there is Pass the Parcel and Games from Around the World. How to Create a Holiday Dreidel, guys. Oh. And. Here. So it here. says, include in next month's box. Leo, see if you can guess what next month's box is. The perfect place to ring in the new year. It's a country with castles and cabbage and lots of good beer. I'm sticking Ireland. There will be unusual chocolate and a lucky coin sweet. So say hello 2019 and get ready to eat. What country do you think it is? Ireland. <laughs> you think it's Ireland too? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I think it's probably Ireland, guys. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think it is, guys. I don't know. We would love to hear from you, whatever your thoughts are, guys. So guys, we're coming to the end of our inaugural uh, edition of the Universal Yums Crate, the Super Young Box, guys. And Leo, what are your thoughts on this crate? The best thing was probably the raspberry chip. Okay, did you like it? Do you like this around the world thing? Mm-hmm. I think this is really interesting too, guys. Uh, this is a lot of fun. Like, I'm excited about adventures. Food adventures are fun. We do food adventures actually a lot. Like, we'll go to an Asian store or a Mexican store or whatever and just go get random things. Oh, wait. That just to try them out. Random snacks, really. But this is a lot easier because we don't actually have to uh, choose them. They're chosen for us. They come in a nice box, and all we have to do is crack them out of the packaging and enjoy them. Okay, guys. So there are – there was 20 items in our box, guys. Of those 20, I like 14. Leo only liked 12. And that's part of the fun to me of, of adventuring because you just never know what you're going to get. Sometimes you might not like it, but it is still a blast to try, guys. We definitely enjoyed that. We're going to continue with the Japan crates as well, guys. So if you like those, you can stay tuned and you'll see those. But anyway, guys, there it is. Our very first Universal Yum Crate, guys. December 2018. The crate came from everywhere, guys. It is an everywhere crate. And there's quite a few countries represented here. I want to say there's probably like 10, maybe 12 countries that were represented in this crate, guys. And uh, we had a blast, guys. Hopefully you guys also enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already, guys. Click the blue bell next to the red subscribe button if you'd like to be notified of latest crates, contents, codes available, guys, including more Japan crates. 
and more universally upgrades, guys, new for 2019. Guys, you can also follow us on our Twitter feed where updates the channel are live and direct, guys, as they happen. And guys, leave us a comment. Let us know if you do any of these crates. Do you do Japan crates? Do you do Universal Yums? There's other ones out there, guys. Do you do any of them? As we watch Leo read the booklet upside down, guys, leave us a comment. Let us know if you also read but your books, booklets upside, upside down. down. Oh, they're crafty. Crafty, 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 guys. Never know what you're going to get in one of these crates, guys. Definitely, though, leave us a comment and let us know, guys, what your thoughts are. We'd love to hear from you. Anyway, though, guys, that's going to do it for us this time. We will see you all next time.